The very first step of opening a file in Amaris is to convert it into IMS format. To do so, we can either use Arena directly, or if you want to convert files in batch, we can use the standalone file converter. First, let's look at Arena. Here I have an image containing TIFF files. For files that are not in IMS format, you will see the arrow icon indicating that the file needs to be converted. Simply double click on the image and the conversion will be automatically started. Once the conversion is done, Arena will only show the IMS format and hide the original file. You can still access the original file by going to the folder. If you have multiple files that need to be converted, or if you need to change certain settings of the image dimension, File Converter may be an easier way to batch this process. Either click on Add Files, or drag and drop a file into File Converter. If you have TIFF series, File Converter automatically groups the files with the same file name and use certain delimiters as the guide to recognize the image dimension. Here I have the TIFF series named Cell Demo, which has three colors and 18 Z slices. Dragging any of the TIFF files into File Converter and it will pick up all 54 files with the same name. We can check the dimension it recognizes from settings. With proper delimiters like underscore C and underscore Z, File Converter should pick up the dimension correctly. Click Start All to run. Please make sure you have enough hard drive space before converting large files. Sometimes the files may not come with proper delimiters. In this folder, I have the same cell demo files, but without underscore C and underscore Z as delimiters, like in the previous example. When we load the files into File Converter, it still picks up all the files. But when we check in settings, we can see that it's mistaken three channels as three time points. We can change it to C, so it will save it as channel and output the same result as before. Alternatively, we can select F split to save these three channels as separate IMS files. Let's try this option. As you can see, three new IMS files are generated and each contains one channel with 18Z slices.